Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel. And this is Poco X3 custom RAM reviews. You can see here MIUI 14, 14.0.23.1.3 14 developer version beta. And here the check availability benefits. This should work. If this works, we can go into get apps application but there is another way i'll show you with any well and details info specs you can see here poco x3 or x3 nfc my current device is x3 you guys already know and android version is 13 year which is good thing isn't it we are getting mia 14 based on android 13 rom for poco x it's not completely cooked here and security patch is 2023 january 1st which is latest available for poco x slash nfc let me increase still more brightness okay hardware version we can see v1 and internal storage this are the remaining settings whatever you get and if i go into home screen this is the visual change you can see in any miui 14 roms there are a lot more roms coming for poco x3 slash nfc stay tuned till end of the video and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet go on down below select the subscribe button which is in red color uh, go and subscribe it guys you'll be seeing lot more videos regarding this poco x3 especially the miui 14 based roms lot more roms ported roms are coming and one thing i more i want to make clear guys that poco x3 device is getting damage in terms of camera i'm seeing it everywhere in youtube even with my whatsapp groups and some of the other tech related channels and uh, social media around that there are complaining about the poco x3 camera not working after certain update and uh, stay away from some of the firmwares i already explained 12.5.8.0 where after that only these things are happening some people facing stereo speakers not working after the update and using that particular firmware hence I already spoken about that I always recommend to use the global firmware where you don't face any problems that I explained in any of my videos you can check out even in this video also I shown flashing method you can check out there you need to flash the same firmware and stay away from these uh, I can't say completely about this particular room and I'll say stay away from ported ROMs as of now for certain period of time hence we can uh, make sure that our device will not go into problems hence hope you guys understood it and uh, let's move into this particular rom here you can see it's completely based on widgets guys and it's an app vault here and these are the widgets if i go into weather for example uh, you click and press here and edit icon here you need to shape them actually it should come but because of the already it's available spacing is not available hence you can't change here that's how it is and if i go into somewhere like this one edit icon now you can change here okay two into one supported for this isn't supported it seems okay again we try this again me video edit icon and it's now in rectangular position you can even keep this vertical and this two into two big icon as you can see supplied now it's moved to other screen here home screen this all the settings you get and uh, if i press and hold here sorry and now go into widgets you get lot more widgets support in this particular rom it's still in chinese only it's ported rom hence these things you need to be considered here and if you go here uh, select all here and you see plenty of like clock other widgets you can see here if want you can drag them and use here i'll switch to this one as you can see the game of uh, widgets is nothing but me 14 you can see even the cat cast tree i don't think so in indian version we all see these things as you can see even the cat if you want you can even keep dogs still it's in beta hence i can't complain much but as of now it's very good in my opinion these kind of widgets should have been added long back ago but uh, again right now it's available at least with android 13 i mean the mio 14 is far more better in my opinion and the smoothness in the way you can notice but i will i will be testing lot more roms and lot more devices hence this is like it's an initial build we can say for poco x at least they are making this kind of ports early uh, if you wait for certain period of time you will get lot more roms based on mio 14 and you will get mio 14 update for poco xcr not let me know in the comment section guys if you know that if you 
eagerly waiting for me a 14 based on android 13 for poco x3 let me know in the comment section and we will be getting at least custom rom support i don't know about actual support and you can see here there's the settings panel so smooth it is definitely it's a smoothest ui you can see here and into some like display settings i want to show here like refresh rate i kept to 120 you can't if you want you can keep to default and there is option up to 60 from 60 to 120 is given and adaptive refresh rate diamond dynamic refresh rate if you want you can keep to that default settings but i will keep to 120 here hence it's looking smoother and dark mode you get to this kind of dark mode which is pitch black condition that's fine and you get these kind of options i'll switch back to light mode and some of the other settings like uh, always on display and lock screen going to work fine but this is an lcd panel we all know that no need to use those things in my opinion and wallpapers and personalization you get plenty of wallpapers here as you can see if you go into library as you can see these are the wallpapers you get these are the mio 14 wallpapers for example these pebbles if you apply dark mode it will become dark and this are mio 13 style we already seen this previously and this one molten glass little bit enhanced here and this curves is looking better hence i kept the same and these things you can play around with this these wallpapers are really good in my opinion just changing a version of mio is not important at least they have implemented these things that's really good in my opinion and font size me land me sans pro and me sans are given let's keep it to me sans pro now okay and alarms it restarted as you can see this is how the theming you can see here and face unlock is not given for this particular device for other devices it's working for an actual face unlock here we just get fingerprint unlock as you can see it's very quick to unlock a smartphone but uh, you know that i don't recommend to use it as a daily driver just if you want to showcase a MIUI 14 then you can do it wait for a certain period of time you will get lot more roms for this poco xc based on MIUI 14 you will get bunch of roms and to see that you need to subscribe to my channel every video will be going to be available in my channel and speaking about particularly of this rom is you won't get any google play support or anything like that you need to go into accounts and sync here and basic google services just enable this then you will get play store here into the apps let me show you yeah it should come actually and that's how i seen in some of the other smartphones and screen time it's nothing but digital well-being here nothing fancy and battery again whenever you need to use this people forget actually there is a performance mode in any MIUI 13 and 13 uh, sorry 12.5 13 and now the 14 use this performance mode whenever you're playing like uh, games like any bgm or like that and one more bug is i tried to install this magic it took uh, 30 minutes now it hasn't installing the magics i don't know what's the problem in this particular rom and uh, again i want to show you this account sensing basic google services and it will slightly reduce bad life good thing they have mentioned this people don't know that and we'll see whether the play store has been installed no that's one more thing you need to be consider here in other smartphones with similar ported rom i'll get play store here once i enable that the play store will come into picture here but here it's not showing that's a one more bug you can see here and the other bug is in the quick settings panel if you see closer there is no buttons of settings and edit button but if i press here there are buttons actually but they are not visible there are buttons but it's not visible that's how it is that's a one more bug and some more bugs are present here if i go into like uh, some of the home screen here the language is in some other language you need to use other phone to translate it if you know you can I use that this is like for example with app dot and light mode and classic mode some of the options you can read it out but that's how it is in home screen you get lot more customization but it's in different language i would have shown you better and layout of recent apps you can choose here like this horizontal you can see here and that's it and this one okay that's how it looks and i will turn off this uh, performance mode that you need to keep in mind guys whenever you want to play in 
play battle round mobile games or any high end games just on that performance mode it will be a lot more faster and regarding camera that's one more good thing in this particular rom is you get leica integration which we haven't seen for poco x slash nfc and you get all the features available in our x3 device and including some of the other features are also added here like vlog pro was not available in our device you get these things also you can play around that and regarding video support you can see here 4k 30 is given 1080p 60 for some reason uh, disabled uh, because of this one the smartphone capability and teleprompter meter and some of the other settings you can use that i liked very well and uh, that's it i don't have anything to say here it's unable to install even geekbench without play store and everything like that i thought make a full review of it but that's how it is and if you go into even like additional settings here one more good thing is tab plus is given here you can use that and memory extension option up to 5 gb is available my variant is just 6 gb variant that was not the case for indian mio versus i don't know if they add this that will be better you will get very good ram management here floating windows those special features are still the same nothing new here and security features you get this uh, warnings earthquake warnings it those are region specific uh, customization not available for each and every country that you need to keep in mind the ui is smooth definitely the mui 14 is going to be better in terms of uh, fastness and you can see here you can see the ram used and ram remaining with that additional virtual ram also you can see that that's how guys hope so explained everything here nothing fancy here if you want to flash this rom i don't recommend so if you have two devices then you can use it out for for primary device you can't even install the apps from here side loading is also difficult i hope uh, explained everything nothing fancy but stay tuned to my channel guys you'll be receiving bunch of videos regarding mi 14 based on android 13 for poco xc i hope explained this video properly and if you like the video give it a like we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now